Okay, hi folks, this is Tom from Sawdust and Feathers again. And we're going to burn our stump today. And I decided I'm not going to stain it, I'm just going to poly it because I think it's going to turn out a little better. So, I start burning it. All the burn's going to do is enhance a few of the, the hairs and stuff. Let them pop with the polyurethane. Do the facial features. Yeah, I know the burn down my shop. There's a light burn on them. Let me spin it. One more on him. Get him going. Remember, this is going to be the base of a table. Probably won't see half of what I'm doing. I did anyways because the top will be on it. I put some age lines in them. Move the mustache up a little bit here. Undo his hair. Now you're gonna have fun when you do this. Somebody commented me to me that it looks like I need some practice. Well, every time I do one of these, it's practice. I'm no professional carver. I'm an amateur carver who just enjoys doing what I do. And I'm putting it out there to show you guys what I'm doing, and maybe it'll help you to do what you're doing. Let's get him to spun around our last face. I like this guy here. He turned out pretty good. I showed you my tabletop of me putting on it a while back. But that'll be the next video after all this sets up. I'll put it together and it'll be the last one on the stump. I'll darken his eyes up a little bit. Make some of his facial features stick out a little bit more. Yeah, like I said, I've just decided I'm going to polyurethane him. Instead of putting a stain to it, because it's already a dark piece of wood, and I think that, I don't think it's going to hurt none to just polyurethane. wet wash make a shot like a dime how's that looking oh, it's looking pretty tough let me take his top off this i don't have no fire starting well, i'm not going to talk and paint napoleon Alright, anytime you pull your stain or anything, it's always best to start from the top down. The reason for that is liquid all runs downhill. A lot of times you're dabbing and dobbing. See how dark that's coming out there? You don't need to worry about it running or nothing. Dripping, what's it going to drip on your tabletop? That's already a mess.
All the little bubbles you see going on there. They'll pop. They'll pop. It's like the stain, you just let it run. That's why we start from the top down. Let it run down. And you know, the polyurethane is really going to make everything pop. It'll bring out the grains. And his face. By tomorrow morning, all those bubbles will be worked out. I usually you'll put on three coats of poly to make it give it the a good shine. I'll probably end up putting two coats on. I probably won't put the other coats on on video. I'll wait till I'm done with them before I go and put the table together for you. It's my it's gonna be my wood spare coffee table. Or it could be outside or inside, whatever you want to do with it. Hey, you put three coats on to pop the shine. What you'll do is take a light sanding and do what they call a scuff and you scuff it up you don't really sand it you just scuff it up enough to give the polyurethane a new coat something to hold on to let me turn it what do you think it's not looking too bad i don't think let's turn it to this side Let's start at the top again, work our way down. Oh, uh, I put the can or try to catch what's coming down. I don't know, it's sort of senseless. We're working on a quite up and down kind of deal here. It's straight up and down. It's not tilted towards me a bit. You gotta have to dab it in there. See how the burn made it pop? The features come out when you burn. That's what I like about it. And that's why I didn't want to stain it this time. Because usually I stain my birdhouses, and that's a lot lighter wood. And I can burn them and then stain them. I like to use that golden pecan. Plus, this is going to seal everything in. What I did, though, is when, before I, when I found the stump out in that construction site, I brought it home and hosed all the mud off it, and then I brought it in steel wool, or uh, wire brushed it, and steel wooled it, and wire brushed it, steel wooled it, try to knock everything off with any bark that was left on it. All this other stuff I would get off camera. I just want everybody to get to see what just polyurethane will do to it. This is a high gloss polyurethane. It's not satin. So it's going to shine pretty good when it's done. All right, let me turn it again. That side. Yeah, I guess you see that, okay. I'm going to start at the top again. I 
Uh, we've had a stretch of days where it's just seven, eight consecutive days of rain and clouds and rain and clouds. And I'm the kind of guy I like playing in my garden. So I got some of my early spring stuff out there already. But I'm really waiting for that sun to start shining because this week I hope to put in my tomato plants. And I'm thinking we're past the last frost. So we should be okay there. Like I said, don't worry about the bubbles. They're all going to disappear. I come out here in the morning. There ain't gonna, there's going to be no bubbles on this thing. But see how the dark gets darker? That's why I didn't want to have to worry about staining it. I take all these scratch marks and nasty marks. I got a new idea for a new birdhouse too. I don't even know if it's going to be a birdhouse. It might be a wall plaque. I had to put a piece on down the bottom here that I'm doing right now to make it level. I may grab another brush. This brush here is falling apart on me. Myself a big wide brush, it happened to be the only one I got left. I'm not worried about how wide it is, it means it goes a little quicker. Got all the spots we missed. Right on top, head again. Let it run down. See how the hair popped out. Mustache and beard came alive. That's what makes this cool. Let's spin it around and see what, see what all I missed. You know, I missed some spots, no matter how you look at it. See how this end grain just sucked it right in. Okay, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I said, I'll probably put one or two more coats on off off camera before I put this table together. And I'll see you then. Thanks for visiting. Remember Tom from Sawdust and Feathers. Subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.